What's up everybody? Today is March 18th, 2020, uh, officially day two of Corona break. Um, today I'm heading up the river again, uh, but this time I'm gonna be fishing from land. I'm also going to be trying some new tackle that I got. Um, Euro tackle makes a gamma scud. It looks like uh, a shrimp impersonation or some type of crustacean. They're about an inch big. Uh, I picked up a pack of the gold ones and fluorescent green ones, so I'm going to give them a try, see if uh, they work just as good as live or fresh grass shrimp, um, but stay tuned, let's see how we do today. Alright, so today I'm going to be trying to use these Gamma Scud Euro Tackle, um, one inch, I guess it's gold, just a comparison, I got the lure to I guess let me turn the camera to the right and the live grass room to the left kind of similar I mean we're gonna see uh, if they actually work so stay tuned all right so let's briefly run through I got the uh, one inch gamma scud on this little jig head um, above it I have a slip bobber and a slip set to the depth that I'm fishing what I'm gonna try and do is just kind of let it bounce off the bottom uh, I mean you could tell it does have some action. I mean, look at that wiggle right there. I mean, what perch wouldn't want to eat that? All right, so we're gonna drop her down, let her get to the bottom, see what happens. All right, so deployed the Gamma Scud. Oh, oh first fish, let's go. Damn, that was quick. Let's go. Let me tighten the drag a little bit. Oh, uh, damn, that was fast. That was as soon as it hit bottom. Get that. Yeah, so what I have is that little scud on the bottom. It's got in the wind, you can see the movement. Not a big perch, but hey, it's a male, I can tell you that. But good start of the day. Now, here's a tip um, I am using a slip bobber, but with this, such a small jig, uh, if you want to really get your line down, I added a little split shot to it just to add a little bit of weight. It also adds a little bit of uh, weight when you're casting. Right now, I mean, you can't really tell, but the wind is blowing in my face. So, especially if you've ever casted bobbers before, um, it's very difficult when you have a, this amount of wind. So, little tip, if you add a split shot, it will help your bait get where it needs to be. And it'll make it a little bit easier to cast. Now, today the water temp is holding true. It's uh, according to my deeper pro it's marking about 51 degrees that's what I marked yesterday same exact tide too so um, it is staying pretty consistent I know once that temperature creeps up another seven degrees we're gonna be you know probably an all-out bite but uh, that spike from the 40s to the 50s has definitely picked up the bite recently um, a few weeks ago it was kind of slow, now it's starting to pick up. Another week or two from now, if it stays warm, we should see a lot of uh, influx of perch moving. Yesterday, uh, I definitely, while I was out in the river on my boat, I was marking a ton of bait. Now I don't know if it's herring or bunker because I've seen both. I've seen herring so far and I've seen bunker uh, towards the mouth of this river, but uh, whatever bait it is, that's a great sign because you know that the stripers are right behind them and right behind them is the bluefish. So uh, soon I'm going to be posting some saltwater videos, stripers and bluefish. Uh, it's just kind of hard for me to want to leave the river right now because fishing has been pretty good. So right now I'm fishing uh, what you would call a current break. I think the fish seem to hang there when the tide's ripping like it is right now. Um, whoop, can't tell. Give it a little bit of a jig. Hopefully that'll entice some type of bite. Ooh. Oh, f fish on. Ah, oh. Jesus Christ. That is a tiny cat. 
That might have made the last cat seem big. Well, the catfish seem to like the gamma scuds too, man. Right, we're gonna let this guy go. Hopefully there's more perch and less catfish. All right, we're gonna try and cast this a little, uh, a little bit too far. Well, we'll see what happens. We're getting something looks like on this rod. Doesn't seem big. So I'll sit that rod down, let that marinate. Fish on. I don't know what this is. What in the world is that? Let me tighten up my drag a little bit. Looks like another cat. Oh man. I mean, Jesus, that is like the death spin if I've ever seen one. Not much of a fight to him. This guy. Oh man. Jeez Louise. I'm afraid to break my rod. Put that down. Ugh. Damn. Well, the catfish are definitely biting today. That's a bigger cat. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, man. If the grocery store, I said it yesterday, if the grocery store keeps running out of chicken, man, I might have to start eating some of these catfish. That's not a bad, I mean, that's a good eating size. Most people don't know when you do fillet these, though. There's only like a chunk of meat. It's like a nugget, but uh. All right, we're gonna let Mr. Jumbo Cat go. Thank you for your fight or lack of fight. And off he goes. So, been a lot of catfish today. Ooh, 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 ooh. Something's messing with it. Give it a couple jigs. Come on. Oh man, fish on. Isn't that a beautiful sight when you see that bobber go down? Ah, uh, Jesus, another cat. Although, that is a different species of the day. That's a brown bullhead. That is not a channel cat. Or I guess you'd call that a yellow. Maybe a yellow bullhead. I'll have to look that up. Huh, that's a new species. So we're at three today. Get a quick pick. Let's get you back in the water, my man. Can you tell any perch that are down there? I'm looking for them, not not for you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get my gamma scud back. He almost stole it. I mean, they're not expensive by any means, but they're, uh, you know, I'd like to not lose it. Let me fix that back in there. Yeah, now we're working. So one thing, uh, while I got the time, about these, I by no means am I a sponsored person for Euro Tackle. Uh, I just figured I'd try them. I've, I've been watching a few other YouTube anglers using them for like crappie and other, you know, panfish. So I figured, you know, these things would be pretty cool to try with white perch since we do a lot of white perch fishing. Uh, not really much on it. Uh, it does say this S pheromone technology. I definitely could smell some type of scent that they bake into it so it's it's not like uh berkeley gulp where it's like the oily like liquid but you definitely tell something they put in it uh is definitely a fish attracting because it seems to be working today now i do have two other rods out right now with just grass shrimp but we're just gonna see i, I don't know about you but i i'm very impatient I like to, especially with the amount of time, I, I'm literally fishing during my daughter's uh, nap. So I really try and take advantage of the time I do have right now. Keep an eye on those. Give this a little bit of a jig. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, Lord have mercy. The cats are out. That is a tiny catfish. Let's get you back where you belong, which is not on my hooks. Man, look at that little guy. Female, you could tell by the stomach. 